Dear students and friends, I am Samir Pungaden, Assistant Professor, Department of Mathematics, PSMO College, Thirurangadi. In this video, I am discussing about the topic hyperbolic functions, which is coming under the first module of uh, the paper MT2 CO2 Mathematics 2 of the second semester complementary course in Calicut University. First of all, we can talk about hyperbolic sine and cosine. Hyperbolic sine and hyperbolic cosine. Okay. Hyperbolic sine is uh, denoted by sine ht and is defined by sine ht is equal to e to the power t minus e to the power minus t divided by 2 and the hyperbolic cosine is uh, denoted by sine uh, sorry cos h of t and is defined by cos h of t is equal to e to the power t plus e to the power minus t divided by 2 okay. uh, these are the hyperbolic sine and hyperbolic cosine <coughs> okay here actually uh, sin ht the hyperbolic sin is a or is an old function because uh, we have uh, sin h of minus t is equal to e to the by definition we have sin ht is equal to e power t minus e power minus t divided by 2 so uh, replacing t by minus t we get sin h of minus t is equal to e to the power minus t minus e to the power t divided by 2 which is nothing but negative of e power t minus e power minus t divided by 2 this is equal to minus sin h of t so sin h of minus t is equal to sin h of uh, minus sin h of t so sin h t uh, or hyperbolic sin t hyperbolic sin is a is an odd function is an odd function Uh, in a similar way, we can uh, show that cos h t or hyperbolic cosine is, a, is, a, uh, is an even function. Uh, that is, cos h of minus t is equal to uh, e to the power minus t plus e to the power plus t divided by 2. This is something but cos h of t. So, so hyperbolic cosine cos h of t is uh, an even function even function. Now, uh, the graphs of hyperbolic sine and cosine. The graph of hyperbolic sine is, is like this. This is x-axis and this is y-axis. So, hyperbolic sine is like this. Like this. This is y equal to sine h of x. And the graph of hyperbolic cosine is like this. This is x-axis and this is y-axis. So this is y equal to cos h of x. So actually, uh, from the graph itself, we can see that uh, the uh, the hyperbolic sine is an even old function and the hyperbolic cosine is an old function. Okay. Next, uh, here. Uh, we know the functions uh, sin t and cos or cos t and sin t are hyper uh, circular functions we know that uh, cos t comma sin t are called circular functions we already know that because because uh, if you denote uh, cos t and sin t as x and y that is x, x y is equal to cos t comma sin t the ordered pair cos t comma sin t so we'll get x equal to cos t and y equal to sin t therefore x square plus y square will be cos square t plus sin square t which is equal to 1 so this implies x square plus y square is equal to 1 which is a unit circle so uh, which is a unit circle so we can say that what cos t and sin t are called circular functions 
in a similar way we can say that uh, the hyperbolic functions cos ht and sin ht are uh, hyperbolic functions because uh, we can form the parameterization of this cos ht and sin ht we give uh, with an hyperbolic uh, hyperbola because if we take if we take uh, x comma y as cos ht comma sin ht so we will get x equal to cos ht comma y equal to sin ht therefore x square minus y square will be what x square minus y square will be 1 because x square minus y square is equal to cos h square t <coughs> minus sin square t <coughs> and we can prove that this is equal to 1 because cos h square t is equal to we have cos h t is equal to 1 cos h t equal to e power t minus a plus e power minus t divided by 2 so e power t plus e power minus t divided by 2 whole square minus uh, e power t minus e power minus t divided by 2 whole square now expanding this we can take 1 by 4 outside then e power 2t plus e power minus 2t so e power, e power t plus e power minus t whole square will be e power 2t plus e power minus 2t plus 2 into e power t into e power minus t minus now e power t minus e power minus t to the power 2 so e power 2t plus e power minus 2t minus 2 e power t e power minus t so actually e power t into e power minus t will be 1 and e power 0 that is 1 so 2 and this is also 2 so 2 plus 2 is 4 and this is equal to 1 by 4 into e power 2t plus e power minus 2t can be get cancelled because here is negative e power 2t and plus negative e power minus 2t so this will be cancelled and 2 into e power t into e power minus t will be uh, 2 into e power 0 minus here is also uh, minus 2 into e power 0 so this is nothing but equal to 1 because e power 0 is 1 and e power 0 is 1 2 plus 2 is 2 2 plus 2 is 4 by 4 is equal to 1 therefore x square minus y square is equal to 1 we know that x square minus y square is equal to 1 is a is a represents a hyperbola which represents represents a hyperbola hyperbola therefore uh, cos h t comma sin h t are called are called hyperbolic functions hyperbolic functions okay so actually uh, this will be a part of an hyperbola like this uh, hyperbola will be like this and uh, uh, the parameterization of uh, if, we, if, we, if we take any t this will be a point like this and this is cos h t comma sin h t ok this will be a part of a parabola now that's two now we can do a question ok question one show that show that uh, e to the power x is equal to sin cos h x plus sin h x cos h x plus sin h x this is a simple question how to prove this we have we have to prove this we have cos h x equal to e to the power x plus e power minus x divided by 2 and sin h x is equal to e power x minus e power minus x divided by 2 therefore uh, if you are taking the RHS therefore so cos h x plus sin h of x is equal to adding this we we'll get 1 1 by 2 into 2 e power x nothing but e, e, this e power x plus e power minus x plus e power x minus e power minus x so this is nothing but e power minus x get cancelled and 
1 by 2 into 2 e power minus x which is equal to sorry e power uh, x which is equal to e power x so we can say that this is RHS so, so this is RHS and uh, this is LHS ok so it can be proved like this ok in a similar way we can also do that next question is e power minus x is equal to cos hx minus sin hx ok you can do it easily like this so uh, I am skipping this question ok try to do this next one is ok now so now we have so we defined the hyperbolic cosine and hyperbolic sine in a similar way we can define the other hyperbolic functions the other hyperbolic functions as as in the, in the case of uh, uh, trigonometric functions you know that uh, the other hyperbolic functions are tan x equal to we have tan x equal to sin x by cos x in a similar way we can define this tan x equal to uh, sin x divided by cos x so what will be this we have sin x is equal to e power x minus e power minus x divided by 2 and cos x equal to e power x plus e power minus x divided by 2 so sin x divided by cos x will be e power x minus e power minus x divided by uh, e power x plus e power minus x and these two will be cancelled ok so then now c hx or cot hx now next one is cot hx cot hx is equal to actually this is 1 by tan hx or cos hx divided by sin hx cos hx divided by sin hx so this is equal to e power x plus e to the power minus x divided by e power x minus e power minus x ok next one is ck of x is equal to 1 by cos h of x which is equal to what cos h x is equal to e power x plus e power minus x divided by 2 so 1 by cos h x will be uh, 2 divided by e power x plus e to the power minus x ok now uh, cosecant cosecant of x is equal to 1 by sin h of x which is equal to what 2 divided by e power x minus e power minus x so these are the uh, other hyperbolic functions the formula for other hyperbolic functions ok now uh, we can prove some uh, identities uh, about hyperbolic functions the first one is so we are discussing about uh, uh, hyperbolic functions and uh, next one signage of next identity will be uh, identity is uh, signage of x plus y is equal to signage of x into cos h of x plus cos h sorry in sin h of x into cos h of y plus cos h of x into sin h of y ok as in the case of trigonometric function sin of sin of trigonometric identity sin of x plus y we have sin of x plus y is equal to sin x cos y plus cos x sin y in a similar way we can define this also sin h of x plus y is equal to sin h of x into cos h of y plus cos h of x into sin h of y ok Another identity is cos h of x plus y. We have cos of x plus y is equal to cos a cos p and more cos x cos y minus sin x sin y. But here cos h of x plus y is equal to cos h of x into cos h of y. It is plus here plus sin h of x into sin h of y. Okay. And numbering it as 1 and 2. Uh, the identities okay. okay I will prove this uh, uh, one of this identity and uh, the uh, rest will be uh, you can you can prove the rest okay now how to prove the first one proof of first one 
So sin h of x plus y is equal to sin hx into cos xy plus cos x into sin xy. Okay. Uh, we can do it in two ways. Uh, either we can take from uh, left to right or we can take from right to left. Okay. Suppose we are taking uh, le left to right. Now, sin h of x plus y is equal to by the definition of the hyperbolic function sin h of x we have sin h of x is equal to e power x minus e power minus x divided by 2 so sin h of x plus y will be what e power x plus y minus e power minus of x plus y divided by 2 I hope you are okay with it because uh, sin h of x is equal to e power x minus e power minus x divided by 2 we are replacing x here by x plus y. So, uh, sin h of x plus y is equal to e power x plus y minus e power minus x plus y divided by 2. Okay. So, this is nothing but this is equal to e power x e power y minus e power minus x into e power minus y divided by 2. Okay. Now, we can replace e power x and e power y and e power minus x and e power minus y by uh, the equations uh, we, we obtained in the, uh, from the previous example. So this is 1 by 2 into we have e power x is equal to what? Cos hx plus sin hx. Okay. Cos hx plus sin hx. This is e power x. Into e power y will be uh, cos hy plus sin hy minus minus e power minus x was what cos hx minus sin hx cos hx minus sin hx into e power minus y will be uh, cos hy minus sin hy ok now just multiplying this 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 into what cos hx into cos hy cos hx into cos hy plus cos hx into sin hy plus sin hx into cos hy sin hx into cos hy then sin hx into cos sin hy plus sin hx into sin hy now negative of cos hx into cos hy cos hx into cos hy uh, then cos hx into minus sin hy that is cos h minus cos hx into sin hy uh, then minus sin hx into cos hy so negative is here and negative what sin hx into cos hy and sin hx into sin hy plus sin hx into sin hy ok now this is 1 by 2 into so we are deleting if we are deleting the equal terms so cancelling the equal terms what so we need to get sin hx into cos hy cos hx into sin hy so cos hx into cos hy cos hx into cos hy get cancelled this is plus and this is negative ok so this term will be get cancelled then cos hx into sin hy uh, then cos hx into sin hy this also get cancelled this term and this term oh sorry this is plus cos hx into sin hy negative negative plus cos hx into sin hy so 2 into so this is sorry 2 into cos hx into sin hy so this and this so this are then sin hx into cos hy uh, minus sin hx into cos hy so minus 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 and minus plus so plus 2 sin hx into cos hy so this is our power then this same and this one remaining sin hx into sin hy minus sin hx into sin hy this will be cancelled ok so this is nothing but 1 by 2 into 2 cos hx sin hy plus 
is what? 2 sin hx into cos square. So dividing 2 will get sin hx cos hy sin hx into cos hy plus cos hx into sin hy. This is RHS. Okay. So LHS is equal to RHS. So uh, we proved the first identity sin h of x plus y is equal to sin h x into cos h y plus cos h x sin h y. In a similar way, we can you uh, you can say uh, we can solve the, prove this cos h of x plus y equal to cos h x into cos h y plus sin h x into sin h y. Okay. I am leaving this to you. So you do this. Uh, next one. Next, we can talk about the derivative of the uh, hyperbolic functions. Okay, derivative of the hyperbolic functions. Uh, before that, we can uh, uh, we can formulate one more identity because the half angle identity. So this is, for example, one more identity. Identity is identity. Okay. First one is sin h square x is equal to cos h 2x minus 1 divided by 2 and cos h square x is equal to cos h 2x minus 1 divided by 2. Sorry, plus 1 divided by 2. Cos h square is equal to cos h x, no, cos h 2x plus 1 divided by 2 and sin h square x equal to cos hx minus 1 divided by 2. Now how to do this? Okay. These are uh, half angle identities of the cos uh, hyperbolic functions. Now we have to prove this uh, we have we have cos h of cos h of x plus y is equal to cos h of x into cos h of y plus sin h of x into sin h of y. This is important because uh, cos of x plus y was what? Cos x into cos y minus sin x into sin y. But in hyperbolic functions, cos h of x plus y is something but here is plus cos h x into cos h y plus sin h x into sin x y. Uh, if, we re if we replace y by x here, if x equal y, then from this equation we get what? In equation number 1 2x so x plus y equal to 2x cos h of 2x is equal to cos h x into cos h x so 2 cos h x right sorry cos h x into cos h x so cos h square x plus sin h x into sin h x so sin h square x so, so we need to find cos h, cos h square x and sin h square x so first of all we can find sin h square x from this we get sin h square x is equal to cos h 2x minus cos h square x so to get this here is cos h 2x and we, we have to eliminate this cos h square x so uh, for that we have the identity what cos h square x minus sin h square is equal to 1 right sin h square x equal to 1 so from this we get cos h square is equal to uh, or minus cos h square or cos h square is equal to 1 plus sin h square x ok so replacing cos h square here we get cos h 2x minus cos h square is equal to 1 plus uh, sin h square x ok now getting this right ok so this is uh, 1 plus sin h square x so this is nothing but cos h 2x minus 1 minus sin h square so we can uh, take to here so this is 2 into sin h square x is equal to cos h 2x minus 1 so here was uh, minus sin h square so uh, adding minus uh, sin h square we get 2 sin h square x equal to cos h 2x minus 1 
so uh, from this we get sin h square x is equal to cos h 2x minus 1 divided by 2 this is the identity okay. in a similar way we can find uh, sin square okay from this also number as 2 now to find cos h square x from 2 uh, we get also 2 implies what cos h square x is equal to what cos h of 2x minus sin h sin square x right so uh, from this we get sin h square is equal to cos h square minus 1 so replace this this is equal to uh, cos h 2x minus we get minus sin h square is equal to 1 minus cos h square we can replace that uh, plus 1 minus cos h square x since cos h square x minus sin h square x equal to 1 right so from this in a similar way uh, we will get uh, cos h square x plus cos h square x 2 cos h square x is equal to cos h 2x plus 1 so we get cos h square x is equal to cos h 2x plus 1 divided by 2 ok so this is the second formula or second element next uh, next we can move to uh, the differentiation and integration of hyperbolic functions differentiation and the integration formula ok differentiation and integration integration formula for hyperbolic functions hyperbolic functions it's actually simple uh, first of all we know that we have uh, uh, sin h of x equal to e to the power x plus sorry minus e power minus x divided by 2 from this we get d by dx of sin hx is equal to d by dx of d by dx of e to the power x minus e power minus x divided by 2 this is nothing but what e power x there 1 by 2 into derivative of e power x is e power x derivative of e power minus x is negative e power minus x so negative and negative is positive e power minus x divided by 2 this is nothing but cos h of x ok therefore d by dx of sin h x is equal to cos h x d by dx of sin h x is equal to cos h x therefore we can say that therefore integral of or antiderivative of cos h x dx is equal to what sin h x plus a constant of integration ok ok then in a similar way we can show that uh, derivative of cos h x equal to sin h x because d by dx of cos hx is equal to d by dx of e to the power x plus e power minus x divided by 2 this is nothing but 1 by 2 into derivative of e power x is e power x derivative of e power minus x is negative of e power minus x this is nothing but sin h of x so d by dx of cos h of x is equal to sin h of x so we can say that what this integral sin hx dx equal to cos hx plus c so the important uh, thing to remind here is that uh, we have the deriv derivative of sin x is cos x, cos x and but derivative of cos x is negative of sin x but in the hyperbolic functions 
derivative of sin x is cos of x and derivative of hyperbolic cosine is nothing but sin x. Okay, no, no need of negative. Okay, it's important. Now, how can we find the derivative of tan x? Okay. Now, derivative of tan x. Uh, d by dx of tan x is equal to sec h square x. Now, to prove this, we have the d by dx of tan x equal to sec square x. Uh, here also, d by dx of tan x equal to sec h square x. So, how to prove this? We know that. So, to prove this, d by dx of tan x x is equal to d by dx of tan x x can be written as sin h x divided by cos h x. So, we can do this by uh, by using quotient rule. We know that by quotient rule, this is equal to cos h x into cos h x into derivative of sin h x which is cos h x or d by uh, dx of sin h x sin h x minus sin h x into d by dx of cos h x all divided by what cos h square x we need to prove this this is equal to c h square x this is equal to this is nothing but cos h x into derivative of sin h x is cos h x so cos h x into cos h x minus sin h x into uh, derivative of sin cos h x is also sin h x divided by cos h square x so from this we get what this is equal to this is nothing but cos h x into cos h x is cos square x cos h square x so cos h square x minus sin h square x divided by cos h square x so this is nothing but cos h square divided by cos h square is 1 minus sin h square divided by cos h square is uh, tan h square sin h square divided by cos h square this is equal to oh, uh, uh, so no no need of that this is actually cos h square divided by sin h square is equal to 1 divided by cos h square x so this is equal to ck square x so therefore d by dx of tan x tan h of x is equal to ck square x ok therefore we can say that integral of or any derivative of ck square x dx is equal to tan h x plus c d by integral of ck square no, not ck x integral of ck square x is equal to uh, tan h x plus okay. ok in a similar way we can prove that so we got uh, inverse uh, derivative of sin hx equal to cos hx so integral of cos hx equal to sin hx let's see the derivative of uh, cos hx equal to sin hx the full integral of sin hx dx equal to cos hx plus t and the derivative of tan hx equal to ck square x ck square x so integral of ck square x equal to tan hx plus c uh, next one is uh, d by dx of uh, cot h x this is equal to minus cosec h square x ok to try to do this therefore we can say that integral cosec h cosec can be also written as csc ok cosec h square x dx is equal to negative cot h x plus c Okay, in connection with this. Uh, next one is integral d by dx of c h x is equal to minus c h x tan x. So, from this we get what? Integral uh, c h x tan x this is tan x x ck x tan x x dx is equal to negative of ck x plus a constant of integration 
okay uh, next one is p by dx of cos h x is equal to minus cos h x into cot h x into cot h x so this implies integral what cos h x into cot h x dx which is equal to cos h sorry negative this is integral negative cos h x plus c okay so try to prove this uh, this uh, identities and this derivative okay these three uh, you can try and uh, you will get this answer okay next uh, we can do some problems by using this assembly problems okay first one is differentiate now question 1 or question 3 and 2 differentiate differentiate uh, sin h of uh, some 3x plus x cube now how to differentiate this sin h of 3x plus x cube so to differentiate this uh, first of all we know uh, we need to use uh, the chain rule so simply we know that we know that what d by dx of sin h of x is equal to what cos h of x so therefore d by dx of sin h of 3x plus x cube will be what so we need to replace uh, x by 3x plus x cube so d by dx of sin h x equal to cos h x so simply d by dx of sin h of 3x plus x cube will be what uh, cos h of 3x plus x cube into by chain rule into d by dx of what uh, we take this as x 3x plus x cube so this is nothing but this is equal to this is equal to what uh, derivative of this is 3 plus 3x cube so 3 plus 3x square into derivative of the into cos h of 3x plus x cube this will be the answer ok this will be the answer now next one can pass on to next question uh, find the derivative of or find q3 evaluate or find d by dx of uh, cos inverse of tan x you think about the answer of this question we need to find the derivative of a function of a function rule where the first function is cos inverse and the inner function is tan x. So we need to find the derivative of cos inverse of tan x. So, so before the, the, for that we need to find first we know we know that we know that what d by dx of cos inverse of x. What was that? d by dx of cos inverse of x is equal to what was that? negative 1 by negative 1 by root of 1 minus x square okay d by dx of cos inverse x so here d by dx of cos inverse x is equal to negative 1 by root of 1 minus x square so we need to replace x by we have d by dx of cos inverse of tan h of x so we need to replace x by tan h of x and we need to uh, multiply the product of tan h x also okay so therefore d by by chain rule actually d by dx of cos inverse of tan hx is equal to d by dx of cos inverse x is equal to negative 1 by root of 1 minus x square so d by dx of cos inverse of tan hx equal to replacing x by tan hx we will get negative 1 by root of 
1 minus x square will be so here x is tan hx so 1 minus tan h square x into d by dx of the x so here x is tan hx tan hx so d by dx of tan hx so this is nothing but what negative 1 divided by square root of 1 minus tan h square x is equal to 1 1 minus tan h square x is equal to secant square actually we proved this also hmm? this is uh, sec h square x so into d by dx of tan h x here 1 minus tan h square is equal to sec square means 1 minus sin h square divided by cos h square so cos h square minus sin h square divided by sec h square ok we already proved this ok so this is uh, if not we can prove like this uh, uh, 1 minus tan h square x is equal to 1 minus sin h square x divided by cos h square x so this is nothing but cos h square x minus sin h square x divided by cos h square x this is nothing but cos h square minus sin h square is equal to 1 divided by cos h square x this is nothing but sec h square x right so we can replace 1 minus tan h square divided by, by sec h square x so square root of 1 minus tan h square x uh, is equal to is equal to of 1 minus tan h square this is equal to minus 1 by uh, sorry, ch x root of ch square x into derivative of tan h x derivative of tan h x is what C, uh, minus sorry uh, ch square x derivative of tan h x is ch square so this is nothing but negative of ch x ch square divided by ch x this is negative of Okay. So, the derivative of uh, cos inverse of tan h of x is equal to negative of sec h x. Okay. Now, we can do one more problem, a simple problem. Q4. Uh, evaluate the derivative of or evaluate d by dx of 3x divided by cos hx plus sin h3x simply we can uh, we know that this is a uh, quotient function so we can use the quotient rule so uh, the answer will be like this d by dx of 3x divided by cos hx plus sin h3x is equal to what uh, the denominator into derivative of numerator so that is cos hx plus as we know sin h3x into the, the uh, derivative of numerator minus 3x into d by dx of the denominator cos hx plus sin h3x right all divided by the square of cos denominator cos hx sin h 3x to the power 2 this is equal to cos hx plus sin hx cos hx plus sin hx into derivative of 3x this is nothing but 3 ok minus 3 into x into derivative of cos hx will be sin hx plus derivative of sin hx is cos hx so 3 sin, sin x 3x is cos h 3x into derivative of 3x is 3 cos h 3x all divided by uh, here is actually cos hx cos sin h 3x is okay. sin h 3x here cos hx plus sin h 3x all square this is equal to so we can stop here or uh, we can stop here so 3 into cos hx plus sin h3x minus 3x into sin hx plus 3 cos h3x divided by cos hx plus sin h3x whole square ok this will be the answer
ഓക്കെ നെക്സ്റ്റ് വി ക്യാൻ ഫൈൻഡ് എ സൊല്യൂഷൻ ഓഫ് എ ഡിഫറൻഷ്യൽ ഇക്വേഷൻ ഓക്കെ ആക്ച്വലി the differential equation the differential equation d square x divided by dt square minus some omega square into x equal 0 where omega is a constant okay now how to what will be the solution of this equation along with this condition uh, x of uh, here actually uh, x is a function of t will be uh, the solution will be x as a function of t okay this is second order differential equation d square x divided by dt square minus w square into x equal 0 here x is the dependent variable and t is the independent variable okay suppose uh, we have a uh, condition or initial condition x equal to x not and dx by dt is equal to v not zero what it means x equal to x not and dx by dt equal to v not when x equal to 0 means that or 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 d square x divided by dt square minus w square x equal to 0 along with x of 0 is equal to x not and this is x dash actually x dash of 0 is equal to v not so uh, this is the initial value problem In second order initial value problem because this is second order differential equation along with two conditions initial conditions x of 0 equal to x not and x dash of 0 equal to v not okay now a solution of this ivp consider this initial value problem uh, number 4 okay now the solution of the ivp4 is solution of this ivp4 is x is equal to x not into cos h of omega t or w t plus v not divided by w sin h of omega t or omega w t. okay here x not is the actually the initial value of x okay and v not is the uh, the initial value of x dash so the first derivative or the velocity at our initial velocity okay so uh, the solution of this differential equation along with this condition or the solution of this ivp is x equal to x not plus cos x omega t plus uh, w not uh, v not divided by w into sin h of omega so we can prove this by just uh, replacing these values in the differential equation okay so we need to prove this so first of all suppose x equal to this to prove this uh, we need to prove that this is a solution of this differential equation okay okay this is solution of this differential equation uh, along with this conditions okay to prove this just we find uh, d square x by dt square and replace here okay x we can replace x here and d square x by dt square here so take x equal to this then therefore uh, what about what about x dash to prove this uh, therefore or to prove this uh, find what the derivative of x that is dx by dt is equal to this x equal to x not into cos h of w t plus v not divided by w into sin h of w t so what will be the uh, first derivative dx by dt x will be a constant x not into derivative of cos h of omega t so this is uh, sin h of omega t into derivative of omega t is omega right plus v not divided by w or omega is a constant into derivative of sin h of omega t what is that this is v not actually sin h of derivative of sin h of omega t is uh, cos h of omega t into derivative of omega t it is omega so omega get cancelled this is nothing but omega x not sin h of 
omega t plus v naught into cos h of omega t. This is dx by dt. But we need to find d square x by dt square to replace here. Therefore, d square x by dt square is equal to what? Uh, we have to differentiate one more time this. So w into x naught, which are constants, into derivative of sine h of omega t, it is cos h of omega t into derivative of omega t. This is omega square, omega. Okay. Plus v naught into derivative of cos h of omega t is sin h of omega t into derivative of this is omega. Now we can replace here. Therefore, d square uh, x divided by dt square minus omega square into x is equal to. We need to prove that this is equal to zero. Okay. So d square x by dt square is this, and x is this. So uh, we are replacing this d square x by dt square will be omega square x naught cos h of omega t plus v naught omega sin h of omega t. This is d square x by dt square minus omega square into x. X is this x naught into cos h of omega t plus v naught by omega sin h of omega t. So replacing this x naught into cos h of omega t. Plus v naught into v naught divided by omega sine h of omega t. We need to get it zero. Uh, the omega square x naught into cos h of omega t. Here is minus omega square x naught cos h of omega t. And v naught so this is cancelled. This is negative of this. So v naught into omega sine h of omega t. Here is negative of omega get cancelled and omega into v naught into sine h of omega t. So this is nothing but equal to zero. So uh, here, our this x is a solution of this. Okay. Now we need to prove this also. Uh, what about this? When x when t equals zero, clearly when t equals zero, x will be what? When t equals zero, sine h of w t is equal to sine h of zero. Sine h of zero equal to what? Sine h of zero is zero and cos h of zero is one because. Uh, now therefore we can say that this is equal to zero implies we can say that. Uh, suppose this is b five. Uh, five is a solution of uh, d square omega uh, x divided by d t square. Sorry, uh, five is a so this is five. Five is a solution of d square x divided by d t square minus uh, omega square into x equal to zero. This is a solution. So to find to to find this x of zero equal x one we have x equal to this now also also at t equal zero x of zero is equal to five implies from equation number five uh, we can say that when t equal zero uh, x of zero is equal to x not into cos h of zero Plus v naught divided by w into sine h of zero. This is nothing but x naught into one plus uh, v naught divided by w into zero. This is equal to x naught because cos h of zero equal to one and sine h of zero equal to zero. Since uh, the reason is the reason is cos h zero is equal to e power zero plus e power minus zero divided by two. This is one plus one by two is equal to one. So cos is zero equal to one and sin h zero is equal to sin is zero equal to e power zero minus e power minus zero divided by two. This is one minus one divided by two, which is equal to zero. So sin is zero equal to zero and cos is zero equal to one. So x of zero equal x naught and so first condition is okay. First condition was this x of zero equal x naught. And second condition is x dash of zero equal to v naught. So uh, we have x naught uh, x dash is this, right? So uh, we can put this as uh, six. So six implies what? X dash of zero is equal to okay. X dash of zero is equal to. Can you see this now? So x dash of zero is equal to this. So Uh, omega 
x naught sin h zero plus next is v naught cos h zero v naught cos h zero so sin h zero is zero v naught in cos h zero is one so zero plus v naught so this is v naught so x dash of zero is equal to v naught so so the, both the conditions are satisfied so we got uh, this uh, this is the important thing is uh, the solution of this differential equation is the solution of this differential equation is this okay this is the important thing okay so the solution of d square x by dt square can you see this the solution of d square x by dt square minus omega square x equal zero along with this condition x of zero equal to x naught and x dash of zero equal to v naught will be what the solution will be x equal to x naught into cos h into to omega t plus uh, v naught divided by w over omega sin h of omega t clear so actually uh, we can do this we can solve this differential equation in this in a In a in a different way, but uh, actually you didn't study that, so we can uh, use the solution and uh, finding the derivatives and uh, replacing this. We can find the solution. Okay. Uh, next one, uh, we can use this to solve another solution, another problem. Okay. Uh, the problem is. Can try another uh, another problem. Q five. Uh, solve for f of t. Okay, solve for f of t the differential equation. F double dash minus three f equal to zero. Along with the condition f of zero equal to one. F dash of zero equal to minus two. Okay. This is the differential equation, or this is the uh, initial value problem. Uh, we need to find the solution of that initial value problem. So, how to find the solution of this initial value problem? Okay. Now, uh, actually, actually, we have another way, but uh, we can use now. Now we can use this. So, comparing this, uh, we we need to solve this differential equation. Uh, or this is IVP or this IVP means initial value problem. Or, or the initial conditions are given. This is second order differential equation along with the initial condition f of zero equal to one and f dash of zero equal to minus two. This is called the initial value problem. Okay. Now to solve this, uh, we already proved that uh, the, the 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 solution of this IVP is this. So. Uh, we can compare com compare this differential equation along with this. So here f dash f double dash minus three f equal zero. Here x double dash minus omega square x equal zero, and uh, this is x. This is not x dash. This is x of zero equal x naught. Here f of zero equal one. X dash of zero equal v naught. F dash of zero equal minus two. So comparing this to this differential equation, uh, the dependent variable x can be written as f. Okay, replacing here x by f and the the omega square by minus three. Uh, we uh, here x naught will be this and v naught will be minus two. Okay, so uh, to solve this, to solve this IVP, come there. This IVP uh, with the IVP what four comma five four comma five is this so this was four and uh, this is five so comparing this we get what therefore the solution will be uh, from this comparing this we get uh, omega square is equal to three right omega square equal to three. That implies omega equal to square root of three, and 
f of 0 equal to 1 x of 0 equal to x naught ok so f of 0 equal to 1 implies x naught equal to 1 and uh, f dash of 0 equal to minus 2 implies comparing this f dash of 0 equal to minus 2 with x dash of 0 equal to v naught f dash of 0 equal to minus 2 implies we will get what v naught is equal to uh, minus 2 so solution will be therefore the solution is 5 implies what x equal to x naught cos h omega t plus v naught divided by omega sin h omega t here our x, x can be replaced by our f so solution will be what sorry uh, solution will be what from this uh, f is equal to x naught into cos h omega t plus v naught divided by omega sin h omega t so this is nothing but x naught is nothing but uh, 1 into cos h omega is root 3 g plus v naught by omega v naught is minus 2 divided by omega is root 3 uh, sin h omega t <coughs> sin h omega t ok so this will be the solution cos h of root 3 by t minus 2 by root 3 sin h of square root of 3 t this will be the solution ok so this method can be used here to solve this differential equation so we need to buy have this, this type of uh, equations for this actually we have another method so uh, we are not discussing this that method here ok Next one is mm. uh, one more question we have to do is this uh, so the next question is Q six. Can do uh, 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 maximum number problem. Prove that we can write this problem. Uh, prove that cos x has cos x has a minimum value a minimum value uh, minimum value of 1 at the point at the point x equal to 0 ok so you would you uh, this uh, the problem is we need to prove that the cos x has a minimum value of 1 so the minimum value 1 at the point uh, at the point x equal to 0 so how to prove this so to prove this take f of x equal to cos hx so uh, we, we know that the maximum in our problem uh, uh, at a maximum or minimum the further word is 0 that is the critical point ok so the critical point is given by we already studied that the critical point is given by f dash of x equal to 0 right f dash of x equal to 0 so it's over f is equal to 0 so f dash of x equal to 0 means that implies d by dx of cos h x equal to 0 that implies d by dx of cos h x is so uh, we are doing this for finding the critical points ok d by dx of cos h x equal to 0 is sin h x equal to 0 what are the points of x such that sin h x equal to 0 sin h x equal to 0 means that e power x minus e power minus x divided by 2 equal to 0 that means 
e power x minus e power minus x equal zero because multiplying these two here. So this implies e power x equal to e power minus x, right? So this implies when we can say that e power x equal to e power minus x. So this is only when x equal zero, or we can write like this: e power x by e power minus x equal to one. This is this is only if e power 2x, e power x in the e power minus x is e power 2x equal to one. This is only when x equal to zero. So the only critical point is only critical point is x equal to zero. So uh, the maximum or minimum occurs only at the point x equal to zero. So uh, now f double dash of x is equal to what? f of x is equal uh, f f dash of x equal to sine h x. So f double dash of x equal to d by d x of sine h x. This is nothing but cos h x. Now the critical point is x equal to zero. Therefore f double dash of zero is equal to cos h zero, which is equal to one, which is greater than zero. Therefore at the point x equal to zero, f dash of x equal to zero, and f double dash of x is greater than zero. Therefore uh, f has a minimum at x equal to zero and the minimum value is what f of zero which is nothing but cos h of zero which is equal to one so uh, f of x equal to cos h x has a minimum value of one at the point x equal to zero a simple uh, question now in this section uh, we can do some uh, other problems which are the anti derivatives of integrals okay suppose q7 i think the number of questions is mistaken but no problem okay compute the integral compute the question is compute uh, integral sin h of 3x Plus x cube into p x. Simple question. This is uh, simply this is equal to integral of this is integral sine h of three x p x plus integral x cube p x by some some formula. So or some rule. So this is equal to integral of sine h three x is. Cos h 3x divided by 3. So this is integral plus derivative x cube is x power 4 by 4 plus a constant of integration. Simple. So okay. Then uh, next one is next one uh, question number 7 I think so 7 8 or uh, question number 8. Evaluate or compute the integral. Evaluate uh, integral tan h x dx. Actually, we didn't find the integral of tan x. Okay, we we find uh, the derivative of sin h x. Uh, derivative of tan h x is equal to sec plus sec h x. So integral of sec h x is equal to tan x. But how to find the derivative integral of tan h x? How to find the integral of tan x? Okay, this is simply we can find uh, this integral of tan h x dx is equal to. Uh, we can write tan h x as a, a quotient function sin h x divided by cos h x. This is integral sin h x divided by cos h x dx. So here is sin h x and here is cos h x. Uh, if you take this as u, the the derivative of cos h x will be sin h x. So here is also the derivative. So we can put what substitute. We can use the substitution method. Put u equal to cos h x. Therefore, du equal to sin h x dx. Right. So this integral can be written as one by u. Cos h x is. One by u, 
sin hx dx can be written as tu so this is nothing but ln u so replacing ln u u ln of cos hx we can uh, we can uh, write this directly so this is plus constant of integration okay then uh, next one so uh, next one more question uh, with this question we can uh, stop our uh, discussion here the last question uh, the question is evaluate or compute integral uh, sin x by sin x divided by 1 plus cos x square x Okay. How do we do this? Sin x divided by one plus cos x square two x. Here, um, here is sin x and here is cos x square. So, to uh, to this or uh, to solve this. Here is sin x divided by one plus cos x square x dx is equal. To. So suppose we are putting in a, uh, like this here cos x square is sin x. So put u equal to cos x x. So d u equal to sin x dx. So we can replace sin x dx by d u and cos x square x by u square. So this will be integral one by one plus u square. So you, uh, we are replacing cos x x by u. So here is one by one plus u square and sin x x dx will be uh, d u. So this is d u. So we know the integral of one by one plus u square, which is tan inverse of u, right? Tan inverse of u plus constant of integration. Now we can replace u by uh, cos x x. So tan inverse of cos x x tan inverse of cos x x plus a constant of integration. Okay. Now I am giving a uh, you know a homework for you. So ten uh, compute compute integral cos x square x. Please. Simple question. How to solve this? How to compute this? Okay. Uh, a hint can be given. To this. We can use the half uh, half angle formula. Because uh, what was that? Uh, cos h square cos h square x is equal to cos h two x plus one divided by two. So we can directly integrate that. So uh, thanks for watching.